Yeah. It's just, it's a normal yeah. crime to find this thing. There's nothing oh, like yeah, out of the ordinary here. Yeah. 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 I'm Dr. Jacqueline Jensek. I'm the Chief of Veterinary Services here at the San Francisco Zoo and today I want to share with you uh, the fact that we had a veterinary ophthalmologist out to check on three of our critters. We had our veterinary ophthalmologist, Dr. Cynthia Cook, who's worked with the zoo for many years now. She came out to check a mandrel, a seal, and a koala for us. First up was our mandrel. We have a female mandrel named Pearl that began to have some veterinary deficits or some um, trouble with her vision that we noticed a few months ago. So today we examined the eyes of uh, the female mandrel who presented with a history of some apparent vision problems. I observed this animal several months ago at, um, in her normal environment and found that she definitely had some uh, visual field deficits um, below her, meaning that uh, if something was dropped in front of her, she would know it was there, but had to feel to, to identify where it was. She's able to navigate reasonably well, although she's very hesitant. Uh, so today we did an eye exam under anesthesia and were able to determine that her pupils respond normally to light and that there are no abnormalities in either the front or the back of the eye. I examined her cornea, lens, iris, retina, optic nerve, uh, and macular region, and I don't find any uh, ocular explanation for uh, her vision problems, which leads us to the likely conclusion that the abnormality in her function is located somewhere centrally within either her optic nerves or her brain. Uh, so it seems not to have been progressive over the past several months, and there are a number of explanations for this that may not in any significant way impact her um, quality or duration of, of life, but we'll be continuing to monitor for uh, new symptoms.